Dolo 650, the tablet with a funny name that you probably must have heard for the first time during the first wave of COVID-19 pandemic. But since the last one week or 10 days, you must be hearing about the controversy that has gripped Dolo 650. But does that mean that there was something wrong with this medicine and that we should not have had it? Well, the good news is no. There's nothing wrong with the medicine per se, but yes, there is a lot of wrong in the way it was marketed, promoted and shoved into our prescriptions by a majority of the doctors, especially the general practitioners in India or GPs, who we all know are notorious for favoring brands that give them freebies. Well, it all started in the first week of July after the income tax department raided 36 establishments of the Bangalore-based Micro Labs Limited that manufactures Dolo 650. The raids were reportedly conducted across nine states of India. On 13th of July, the Central Board of Direct Taxes charged the makers of Dolo 650 tablet with indulging in unethical practices and distributing freebies of around 1000 crore rupees to doctors and medical practitioners for the promotion of its products. Media reports also claim that CBDT alleged that these freebies included travel expenses and gifts etc to doctors and medical professionals for promoting the company's products. In fact, after conducting its raids, the CBDT issued a statement stating that they had seized unaccounted cash of 1.2 crore rupees and jewelry of gold and diamond worth 1.4 crore rupees from the owners of Microlab. This was all unaccounted for. But mind you, it wasn't CBDT who named the company. Various media reports claim that it was Micro Labs based on the information from their sources and that's when the makers of Dolo started getting the kind of negative publicity it never wanted. So now the question is, what is this Dolo 650 and where did it come from? Is it some kind of a quick fix pill that was invented just like the vaccines after the coronavirus spread so that the company could cash in on the COVID waves? Well, the answer is a big fat no. The story of Dolo 650 dates back to some three decades. It's a tablet that's a successor to the Dolopar tablet, which was launched by Microlabs way back in 1973. By the 1990s, Dolopar and over-the-counter medicine had become a household name. That had prompted the Suranas, the family that owns Microlabs, to try their hand at something new, especially since the paracetamol market had become very congested with tablets like Calpol and Crocin made by a British giant called GlaxoSmithKline or GSK. So in 1993, Microlabs decided to launch its very own desi version of a strong paracetamol called Dolo 650. Now this was the time when most pharmaceutical companies were making a 500 milligram tablet like Crocin. So Microlabs said, Dolo 650 was made so that the patients don't do an overdose of paracetamol tablets and at the same time, it was more effective especially for high fever. It contains paracetamol which prevents the release of prostaglandin which causes sensations of pain, inflammation and fever. It also reduces body temperature in cases of fever. Well, the company kept marketing Dolo 650 in its own way by pushing it to the doctors and medical practitioners by calling them to Bangalore for research on different types of fever. It wasn't until the COVID-19 hit the country that Dolo 650 was put on the map. By many estimates, Microlabs has sold over 350 crore tablets of Dolo 650 since the COVID-19 outbreak in 2020, earning revenues of 400 crore rupees in a year. Microlabs sold about 7.5 crore strips of Dolo 650 annually before the pandemic began, according to a market research firm. A year later, that number increased to 9.4 crore strips and touched a jaw-dropping 14.5 crore strips by the end of 2021. But unlike Crocin, Dolo was always readily available and always in stock. Between March 2019 and March 2021, Microlabs revenues jumped 25% and its profits, well, they jumped a mind-boggling 244%. Despite having global operations, almost 60% of Microlabs revenue comes from the domestic market. The company's executive editor, Ashok Jain admitted that the medical marketing and sales teams have put an immense effort into educating doctors about the kind of fevers and found 650 mg to be the right dose in many cases. India's pain relief medication market comprising paracetamol pills, syrups and intravenous injections is valued at some 100 crore rupees monthly. Now the CMD of Microlabs, Dilip Surana said that the only challenge they faced in the last two years with Dolo 650 was the huge API price increase, which was threefold. 
API means active pharmaceutical ingredient and that is the only bitter pill to swallow for the makers of Dolo 650. In an interview to Forbes magazine, he said, unfortunately, Dolo 650 is on the national list of essential medicines, which means there has been no price increase. But it's our flagship brand and we've got so many blessings on the people which give us a different kind of satisfaction. Of course, the blessings and a windfall gain of 244% increase in profits. Little wonder then, despite all the success with its other products, Dolo 650 continues to be Microlab's star attraction. In fact, the company with annual revenues in excess of 4,000 crores runs 17 manufacturing facilities across India and also runs operations across 50 countries. As of October 2021, the Surana brothers, that's Dilip and Anand Surana, are worth $2.24 billion according to Forbes, making them India's 94th richest people. And clearly, Dolo 650 has a big role to play in making that happen. However, now with these fresh allegations of evading tax and pushing sales of Dolo 650 by bribing the doctors, the company has gone into a silent mode and stopped responding to media queries. The Hindu reported that tax evasion through illegal means is estimated at more than 300 crores in this case. So the next time you have fever and your doctor prescribes you Dolo 650, don't worry, it's still a very safe medicine, but it's just that your friendly neighborhood doctor might just have been given a handsome amount of freebies to dole out a prescription of Dolo 650. But the it really works vitamins need no prescription. If you're having a bad hair day, a month or even a year, well, as you all know, I've been using it and it has really helped me. The hair had been thinning and it had been falling and all sorts of problems were happening with my hair. But ever since I started using it within the first three months itself, I saw a visible difference. And that's the dose that you need to take for the first three months. You will know whether it's working for you or not. Most of the people who have taken it, it has worked for them, be it my family members, my friends or most of the subscribers who have gone ahead and taken it through this link, which is the only one where you get 40% off. Otherwise, everywhere else you have to pay full price. So if you're having hair thinning or hair loss or any sort of hair issue, if you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This works for both of them. You go ahead and try this with this link that is there in the description, you get full 40% off. If you're not satisfied, even after the first three months, after taking it for the few weeks, then you can always get a refund. They're very easy with that. So go ahead and order it if you need it. Otherwise, just ignore this information. But as always, you can also connect with me on Instagram and on Facebook. It's at the rate review Ron. On Twitter, I'm available and very active as at the rate Rana Kutecha. Of course, like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you find our videos worth it over here. If not, let us also know how we can improve what else you want to see. You may want to give us feedback about the edits, about the scripting, about the topics we choose and also about the kind of content overall that we show you. But as always, even if you don't do any of these things, thank you so much for watching this one. Please take care of yourself and those around you. Jai Hind.